Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Bert the Stormtrooper and this is the home of That's Just Prime, the comprehensive Optimus Prime review series. I also review other Transformers, lots of G1 stuff, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, GoBots, and pretty much any other toy that may jump out of me. I also do the occasional arcade and pinball machine videos, unboxings, blogs, challenges, and miscellaneous videos where my daughter usually makes fun of me. Those are a lot of fun. If you're new to the channel, thanks for checking me out. Please be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share if you like what you see. Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generation 1 Target Master Crosshairs and his Target Master partner, Pinpointer, and I love these toys. Originally released in 1987, they retailed for approximately $10. And I love taking a look at these Transformers that came out later in the run because I was already a little older. I wasn't interested in Transformers anymore. I had moved on to other things. But I did have a younger brother that was still into them. He got some of them not many of them. He was kind of also getting out of there too. So it's kind of like going back and rediscovering a lot of these figures for the first time. And uh, some of these figures that are considered maybe not as great as the first or second year Transformers, but for me, just going back and rediscovering them, it's like I'm experiencing them for the first time. And, and I really, really enjoy and have had a lot of fun discovering a lot of these later Transformers. So Crosshairs here is kind of like this this futuristic or like a space doom buggy. We'll move pinpointer out of the way for right now. Yeah, this is really cool. I don't I don't know if this is like a dune buggy or like a little space truck or a lunar patrol truck or it's a crazy future space truck. And I love this design. This truck mode is approximately five inches long, about two inches tall. As you saw, he rolls quite well, a little squeaky due to age, but absolutely very cool looking design. I really like 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 the design here i really like the colors they are uh, reds and blues so they are very optimus prime evoking at least to me and you guys know how much i love my optimus prime very very cool little truck mode here checking around the bottom not really many robot parts to show so yeah if you didn't know what you were looking at you may might not know that this is a transformer taking a look at his partner uh, pinpointer here. He is his target master, and of course, as with most G1 partners, headmasters, target masters, power, uh, power masters, all of those, not a whole lot of articulation going on here. Uh, he doesn't do anything. He just kind of stands there. He is approximately two inches tall. Now, he does have a very cool transformation into a uh, weapon, so he's just going to bend over at the waist, which is kind of expected, but then the barrels here in the back are going to fall down, so he does have two hinges for transformation giving us quite the long rifle, which I think is very cool, especially for a G1 target master. And of course, we can pop this guy right up here at the top. And there we go. Now we've got ourselves a uh, um, crosshairs all armed up here and uh, ready to go. And one cool thing about this is that, of course, it, you know, it's on a peg, so you can rotate them around. But because of the hinge in the back, you can also lift this up. So you could, you know, uh, kind of pretend that you were chasing some, uh, you know, you're on the ground and you're chasing some aircraft, you could actually be shooting up at them. Or if you're being chased by aircraft, you could turn around and maybe shoot up at them as well. So very cool. I like that a lot. Real quick, uh, for comparison, we'll turn this guy around one more time and we'll bring in fellow G1 Target Master Sure Shot so you can see what these guys look like together. And I guess this is a dune buggy, so this is really more of a truck, I guess. But uh, Crosshairs is a little bit of, on the smaller side compared to Sure Shot. But very cool figures, nonetheless. Transforming this guy is going to be pretty simple. We're going to remove the target master. And, you know, you can transform him and set him aside. Or you can leave him in weapon mode. We're going to use him in weapon mode. You know, one thing about the target masters that I guess I didn't like as much as uh, maybe the headmasters. Is that there really is nowhere to sit for these guys uh, when they are in vehicle mode. Um, the target master really kind of loses its functionality because he's kind of meant to be used as a weapon in both modes, vehicle and in robot. You really don't have anything to do with him when he's in robot mode. Unlike the headmasters, they all had little cockpits. So when they were in vehicle mode, the headmasters could actually sit inside of the vehicles. Uh, the target masters don't do that. And I, I've always found that to be a little bit of a shame. So we'll set him aside for now. We'll get into the transformation for crosshairs. Very simple. We're going to start at the top uh, or the back here. We're going to extend these out. These are on a double hinge. So that's going to extend all the way out like that. Take these tips, fold them up. Those are going to be the feet. 
wheels are going to rotate around to the back of the robot. Stand them up and bring the camera up. Take the sides of the truck here, and these are going to come out and down on that hinge right there. Reach in here and pull the fists out. So these are going to rotate out just like that. And finally, this piece up here, which, by the way, contains the rub symbol. There you go. This piece is going to fold back, and the head is underneath there, spring-loaded, so it's going to come right up. And there is crosshairs and robot mode, and he looks pretty cool. Here in robot mode, crosshairs is approximately six inches tall. Not a whole lot of articulation, as with G1, his arms can go all the way around. Uh, that's going to be about it. I mean, I guess his knees can somewhat bend. Uh, it looks painful. Uh, maybe he can do like a sit-in position. So, you know, if crosshairs ever gets a desk job, um, his articulation will let him do it. So, there's that. <laughs> we'll stand this guy right back up again. Details, very cool. We'll take a look at the face. Cool molded detail for the face. I really wish they would have painted the visor. R really needs a little bit of paint detail in there to kind of separate some of those features. But cool molding nonetheless. Just going around. Yeah, he does. I mean, he does have some car parts on him i guess but for the most part this robot came out of nowhere because you couldn't see this robot in the vehicle mode and now that he's in robot he's got very little vehicle mode attached to him so this this is a transformer that does transformation very very well and i really love that about him and uh we'll go ahead and bring in pinpointer right here transform him into weapon one more time i guess we can set them side by side so you can see kind of the height difference there and we'll go ahead and transform him again. And he can fit into either fist. You can just pop him in right there. And there you go. There's Pinpointer uh, and the crosshairs all together. Real quick for comparison, here he is again with his Target Master Partner Sure Shot. So you can see how these guys stand like together. And as you can see, crosshairs actually grew some. Where in, in vehicle mode, he was considerably shorter than uh, Sure Shot was. Or than, uh, wait a minute, what did I say? Crosshairs grew because in vehicle mode, he was considerably shorter than Sure Shot. He's actually... Uh, yeah, just a little bit taller than Short Shot now that they're in robot mode, which is really, really cool. And just to kind of give you an idea of a modern figure, here he is with the current Siege Voyager Optimus Prime, which is the current standard Voyager figure. So you can kind of get a good feeling with, uh, as of the time of this recording, uh, the size differences here with, uh, with modern figures. Very, very cool. I got this figure. I saw Patriot Prime review this figure, and I just absolutely fell in love with it watching that review, so I had to get him. Um, so darn you, Patriot Prime, you made me spend more money. Um, he does that to me all the time anyway. So <laughs> go over to Patriot Prime. To, uh, tell him I say hi. Uh, and I think that about covers the Transformers Generation 1 Target Master Crosshairs and Target Master Partner Bin pointer. What did you think of this figure? Let me know by leaving me a comment down below. Give me some thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends if you like what you see. Now that we are going to be losing the community options and the sharing and all of that stuff, if you want to help the channel out, I do have a donate button up there. If you want to click on that, I would highly appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.